Let's look at deriving the mean and variance for continuous probability distributions. This does require some calculus, and I'm going to assume that you are familiar with basic integration. Suppose for a random variable x, the PDF f of x is equal to 1 over 60 times x cubed, when x is between 2 and 4, and 0 otherwise. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's the PDF plotted out. This curve is 1 over 60 times x cubed between 2 and 4, and then it drops to 0 outside of that range of values. Suppose the point of interest for us is finding the mean and variance of this probability distribution. Here I've written out the PDF, and we're looking for the mean of the probability distribution. I've written out the expectation of x here, which is another name for mu, the mean of the distribution. For a continuous random variable, the expectation of x is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x times f of x dx. Here, we're going to integrate x times 1 over 60 x cubed dx. But we're not going to integrate this between minus infinity and infinity because this is only the PDF between 2 and 4. Outside of 2 and 4, it's 0. So we integrate this between 2 and 4 because the integral from minus infinity to 2 is 0 and from 4 to infinity is also 0. This is going to be equal to 1 over 60 times the integral from 2 to 4 of x to the 4th power dx. This is equal to 1 over 60 times, when we integrate x to the 4th, we get x to the 5th over 5, and we need to evaluate that between 2 and 4. So if we come up here, this is going to be equal to 1 over 60 times 4 to the 5th power over 5 minus 2 to the 5th power over 5. And this works out to 992 over 300. And in reduced form, if we were to reduce that, we'd see that this is 248 over 75, which is approximately 3.3. And that is the mean of the distribution. If we go back to our plot of the PDF, we'd have 3 right in the middle here, and we would see that values near 4 are more likely than values near 2, and that draws the mean over here to about 3.3. That's our mu, our mean of this probability distribution. Now let's derive the variance of this probability distribution. The variance, sigma squared, is equal to the expectation of x minus mu squared, the average squared distance from the mean. And to find this expectation, we simply take this function and multiply it by the PDF and integrate over the possible values of x. We could go ahead and find our variance in this manner. We could square this out and carry out the integration and find our variance like this. However, it is a little bit easier if we use a very handy relationship here, in that the expectation of x minus mu squared is equal to the expectation of the square of x minus the expectation of x all squared. This is a very handy relationship that we use in a lot of spots. It might not be obvious that this is true just looking at it, but it can be shown simply by squaring this out and using some properties of expectation. Now, one of the reasons why this is easier is that we've already found this value. So when we're finding the mean and then the variance, we've found this one already. So the question boils down to finding the expected value of the square of x. So let's go ahead and find this. The expectation of the square of x is going to be equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x squared times f of x dx. And this is going to be equal to the integral of x squared times 1 over 60 x cubed 
dx, but again, using a similar argument to the last time, it's only this in between 2 and 4, and outside of that range of values, it's 0. So we integrate this function between 2 and 4. And this is equal to 1 over 60 times the integral from 2 to 4 of x to the fifth power, dx. And if we carry out this integration, we're going to get 1 over 60 times the integral of x to the fifth power, which is going to be x to the sixth over 6, and we're going to be evaluating that between 2 and 4. And so this is equal to 1 over 60 times 4 to the sixth over 6 minus 2 to the 6 over 6. And this works out to 4032 over 360. And if we reduce that, we'd see that's equal to 56 over 5. And recall again what we just found was the expectation of the square of x. Now let's go ahead and find the variance of this distribution. The variance of the distribution, which is equal to the expectation of x minus mu squared, is also equal to the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x all squared. And we found these values. We just found that the expectation of x squared is 56 over 5. And previously, we found that the expectation of x is 248 over 75. That's what we found first. And we're squaring that. And this, if we work that out, is equal to 1496 over 5625 which is approximately, the three decimal places anyway, 0 0.266. And that's how we go about deriving the mean and variance of any continuous probability distribution.